Hi, my name is Jay Wilson from Onyx Reporting. In this webinar, I'm going to share with you how to reverse engineer a cube in Jet Enterprise. Now, to get us started, I have here a pivot table. And this pivot table is connected to um, Microsoft's AdventureWorks multidimensional cube. As you can see in this cube, it just has scads of measures and dimensions. And again, what I'm going to show you is how you can very quickly um, recreate this cube in the Jet Data Manager. Um, you'll notice here I have a blank project. So while, it, of course, a project has a name, um, there are no data warehouses or cubes attached to it. And all I'm going to do is right here under OLAP Servers, I'll right-click and choose Reverse OLAP Server 2005 and above. Now, there is additional licensing required. Um, this is an add-on feature that you have to purchase with your Jet Enterprise license. Um, but again, what it does is it allows me to go in here and say, okay, I want to create a server called AdventureWorks. I'm going to use local host. I'll choose my AdventureWorks database. And then down here, you'll see that um, because this button is checked, it's going to create the data warehouse to support this um, new cube. I'll reverse engineer and sure I'll convert, con I'll choose to convert computed co columns into derived measures. You can see here um, in the data warehouse some of the joins were not created. You can see any, um, any errors and then of course we would follow up with and look at them in our project. But in a matter of seconds, minutes, um, I have all of the standard measures that previously existed in the, in the OLAP cube. I have KPIs defined. I have my dimensions. It even recognized a parent-child dimension. And then what's really impressive is under the Data Warehouse tab, my Data Warehouse is defined complete with all the fields that are needed in the cube. Now keep in mind that even though the, the structure for the data warehouse is there, the business units, um, the business unit has not been created. So the ETL for extracting the data from your original transactional database is not there. The um, staging database where all the transformations will be done is also not there, but you do have all sorts of flexibility because if I really like my multidimensional data model, I can save it and I can use it with a Dynamics Nav database, with a GP database, with an AdventureWorks database. I can choose whatever data source I want and then just fit it to this data warehouse and cube data model that I've created. Again, the feature that we explored was here under OLAP servers, right-click, reverse OLAP server 2005 and above. This is an add-on feature that you do have to purchase um, for your Jet Enterprise license. My name is Jay Wilson. You can always, re always reach me at jae at honestreporting.com. Cheers.